Hi, this is another interesting example. Here we have a crate of mass M that is 60 kilogram and that's pushed up the frictionless ramp of angle theta that's 35 degrees by a constant horizontal force F, which is 500 Newton. We would like to find the acceleration of the crate and the normal force from the ramp on the crate. Okay, we, we said that there's acceleration. If there's acceleration, it will be along the ramp. So it will be like in this direction. So we take x axis in that direction. So this is our x axis, let's say, and this is our y axis. Perpendicular to the ramp. So free body diagram. It's very important. Free body diagram, x direction, y direction. There are three forces. F is horizontal and Mg is vertical. And normal force is along the y-axis. And then again, Mg and negative y direction make the angle theta. And F and the positive x direction make the angle theta, the same as what we had over there. Okay? And the acceleration is in this direction. Alright? So this is Free by diagram. Now we apply Newton's law. So the sum of fx equal to max. Right? Sum of fx means x component of all of these added up in fx plus nx plus wx equal to max. Yeah, I I write this again so you can see this is what this equation says. Now, we apply it to this situation, it means that we write each one in terms of the magnitudes and the directions. So fx is what? x component of f. How do I find fx? You see, I look at this right triangle here. F, fx is adjacent to theta, so I use magnitude f times cosine theta. And because this is in positive direction, it becomes positive, everything is good. But x component of n is what? Zero because it is in y direction. And w, x component of w is when you um, project w onto x axis, the x component is negative, but is not adjacent to theta, so you use sine. So negative mg sine theta. Is that clear? This is sum of all the x components. Equal to mass times x component of acceleration. Because acceleration is an x direction, becomes the magnitude of acceleration. You see, I'm just following the language. Following what Miss Newton's law tells me. And I want to find the acceleration. Do I have everything else? Yeah, I have F, I have theta, I have M. I can solve for acceleration. So I can put everything in. F is 500, cosine 35, minus 60 times 9.8, times sine 35, equal to 60 times acceleration. So if you do that, acceleration will be 1.21 meters per second squared. Alright? So this is acceleration. Now I want to find normal force. Normal force is in the y direction, so some of f y will help me. Equal to m a y. What that tells me is f y plus n y plus wy equal to m times a y. Now I write each one of the components in terms of magnitude and direction. What is the y component of f in terms of its magnitude? The y component is this way, right? y component is this, which is the same as the opposite. So that's why I we multiply the magnitude times sine theta, f sine theta, but it falls in negative y direction, so I put negative in front of it. 
and n y is equal to because n is in the y direction because becomes equal to the magnitude of n and w y is this this way is adjacent to theta the y component is adjacent to theta so I use cosine and it is the negative direction of y axis so it will be negative mg cosine uh, theta equals to m times a y. m, what is a y? a is in the x direction, so y component is zero. That makes it zero. Now I want to solve for n. Can I solve for n? Yeah, I have everything out. So n, if you put the numbers in, so n will be 768. Does it make sense? Any questions? This is what I mean by drawing a picture. Three by diagram. And apply Newton's law in component form, write each component in terms of magnitude and direction, and solve for the unknown. If you do it like that, there's no hard question in Newton's law. Really. Every question will be a piece of cake. You just need to know how to draw a 3 by diagram. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.